that's different. I really like that. Peshods or Pichods or Pichaw! <laughs> yeah, now I'm gorgeous. Although probably fuzzier was better. Okay. So this is not what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! Welcome to Beautiful Bourbon. It is uh, Christmas Eve. Uh, some people are uh, joining me live. Some people are gonna come back and look at it later after they're done with their Christmas Eve festivities, but that's okay. I'm here to present to you four excellent Christmas cocktails that you can enjoy anytime through this wonderful Yuletide season, all the way up to New Year's Eve. As a matter of fact, I think it was Christmas Eve last year that I debuted one of these drinks for a party and people went nuts, they loved it. So, and uh, those, by the way, those original four or five recipes that we did in 2021 are back on the Beautiful Bourbon Facebook page. Uh, just check that out. There's a link to the YouTube video and you can go back and look at those original four. So now you've got nine, nine recipes that you can do through this Yuletide season. It's dog versus gift wrap roll. You know, the cardboard that's left over after the gift wrapping is gone? That's his nemesis. Paper towel rolls, toilet paper rolls, he destroys them. And he's doing that right here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, well let's do this. Uh, we're gonna do this first one here. This is called the gingerbread martini recipe. And this one is probably the most that I'm, the one that I am most excited about because this one uh, has a special simple syrup that I had to make and uh, it's really decadent and, and there's a lot of it so I'm going to do a lot of drinking through this uh, through this holiday season here. Um, again, the gingerbread martini recipe. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. Now he's right here. <laughs> Pardon me. This is once, was once a, a uh, gift wrap roll. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, we're bringing back out something I haven't done in a while. If you miss George, this is George. This is uh, my family's ice bucket. It's older than I am. And uh, I wanted to get George out so we could uh, use him for the holidays. Why do I call him George? Because he reminds me of my father. We always said he, his name was George because he kind of looked like my dad. And that's my dad. Um, dad loved Christmas, so I've got to, I've got to bring dad out. Uh, I got to bring out George when we're doing cocktails for the holidays. All right, so let's, let's first of all, let's get, there we go. All right. Just do a few of these in y'all. I'll just put that one down there. <laughs> Barkley's got it. <laughs> All right, so the gingerbread, uh, I put George right on top of it. Put his hat back on so he stays nice and cold in there. Gingerbread syrup is a half cup of water, a half cup of light brown sugar, a tablespoon of molasses. Molasses is not the easiest thing to find in your neighborhood grocery store. I found some. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see, so uh, then ginger, cinnamon, and allspice. And uh, we're not going to need a lot of this. Um, we need about three tablespoons of it in the drink. So I want to make sure I get this right. Oh, I've got to do this first. So I've got this plate. And I'm going to use just a little bit of this syrup. Let's do it this way so I don't overdo it. There we go. I'll just put this in here. Why not? And then we take the glass. Uh, we're gonna use this one. And put it down in there. And then into this prearranged dish of granulated sugar. Ooh. It's getting everywhere. <laughs> All right. So that's how we start it. That's going to be a nice, sweet drink. And then the sugar is now everywhere. All right, so we do that. Uh, then we add 
Kahlua. And we're going to do an ounce and a half of Kahlua. There we go. And then one of my favorite Christmas ingredients, besides the Kahlua, which I really like, just on its own, is the Where did, oh, no. Where'd I put it? Where the hell did Oh, right there. It's behind George. Okay. Ah, Bailey's Irish Cream. An ounce and a half of that. Get that in there. Then... It always feels like this cap isn't going on back, isn't going back on right. All right, we'll be back to that Bailey's. Now we're using the Stoli Vanilla. This is vanilla vodka. I love this vodka. And I don't actually get to use this near often enough. I'm gonna put an ounce of, that, of this in here. Actually, I take that back. I use it enough that I'm almost over it. I'm almost out of it. Okay, so, uh, and then, since we got the tablespoon in that syrup, let's go ahead and do that. Three tablespoons of this gingerbread syrup. Yum, yum. All right. There we go. Probably should have poured it the other way. I want to do that. It'll just be easier. And I'm already making a mess and I have no napkins or anything nearby. <laughs> All right, so then you take that and you pour it. Let's strain that in there so it looks elegant. So I've got the simple syrup on the edge, dipped in powdered sugar. This is a gingerbread martini. Oh, that's fantastic. That's gonna cause trouble. Ooh. I will be posting the recipes, but for now, we're going to set that aside. That is the gingerbread martini recipe. All right, so next, the candy cane Christmas cocktail. This one is uh, another one that's a little bit more, um, there's more to it, so it'll be fun. Um, so we're going to do another plate, and this time, just going to put a little simple syrup on the plate. That ought to do the trick. I have really gotten to the point where I enjoy making simple syrups. I just enjoy doing it. It's fun. They're fresh. They don't last as long as the stuff that you can buy in the store. Um, but. So we'll do that, and this was my last plate. I needed to add something else here. So I'm just gonna do it all on one plate. <laughs> I've got my peppermint sprinkles here that I made earlier today. I bought some candy canes, and I accidentally dropped one. So I ended up crushing it up. And now it's gonna go on the side of my glass, like so. It didn't quite work out as well as I wanted it to, but that's all right. Okay. You get the point. If I didn't have to use the same dish, because I used too many. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, all right, so we're going to do that now. Uh, we're going to set that to the side. Now we'll grab a shaker. And we're going to get back to George here.
George holds a lot of ice. Which is good, because he was kind of kind of a hothead. <laughs> uh, yeah, not really. He was a nice guy. All right. So we do that. Uh, then we're going to add bourbon. Now, I'm using the Makers. Now, this is the Makers. This is not the one that I had the other night. This is that crumble coffee cake. And I told myself the other night I wished I would have used this for the Christmas cocktail I made on Thursday, because I didn't care for this by itself. So why not? Let's use it for this. This only requires an ounce of bourbon. You could use any of your favorite bourbons. But this one, since I didn't care for it too much, and since it has a sweet name, Crumble Coffee Cake, I thought, eh, that's pretty appropriate. All right, set this aside. All right, so we're going to do that. And then we've got Spiced Rum, the Kraken. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> There we go. And so it's only going to take an ounce of that as well. There we go. And then, so call this just a thing, going against the tide, whatever you want to do. But one of the things that I've kind of prided myself on is I still haven't ever bought Fireball. I don't know why I had to sing against Fireball. And I could have gotten a smaller bottle of Fireball, but somebody told me that this is really tasty. This is Cinerator. It's 91.1 .1 proof. It's less expensive than Fireball, and it's a higher proof. So why not? We'll use this. This only requires half an ounce. So a little bit of cinnamon liquor. Oh, I've had Fireball in things, but I didn't mix it myself. Somebody else did it. All right, cinnamon liquor. One of these days I'll buy Fireball just to get, get over myself. Now, this is tart cherry juice, and we're going to need two ounces of tart cherry juice. Why is there more tart cherry juice than there is bourbon? I don't make the rules. <laughs> I just follow the recipes. This is, I tried it. Whew. Made my face turn inside out. All right, so... Then, um, I think that's it. That's it. Okay. Do that. Get it going on. Now we pour that into our cocktail glass. I managed to get through this one without as much of a mess. Then we top it with a little bit of 7-Up. Okay, make sure I'm not missing anything. There we go. So this one is the Candy Cane Christmas Cocktail. That's very tasty. I like that one better. <laughs> But that's very nice. Bourbon, rum, cinnamon liqueur, cherry juice, simple syrup. Yeah, simple syrup. And then um, holiday sprinkles along the rim of the glass. Not bad. All right, moving on to the next one. Um, I need to adjust because I've got some other stuff under here. Let's see if I can do this without spilling everything. Got it. All right, so this next one I'm really looking forward to. This is a chocolate martini. I think you will like this as much as I do. Um, this one, I prepared in advance, I melted some special dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. I love milk chocolate, but I really love dark chocolate. So I melted some in a dish and I rolled the rim of this in the, in the dish of the dark chocolate just to prepare this in advance. So now, um, 
Let's use this one. Uh, I've got four different <laughs> things to shake in, so that helps. All right, so we'll uh, fill this with ice. Thank you, George. You can just hold that for me. All right, so now I've got some Hershey's chocolate syrup. And this is going to be fun. You take it and you drizzle it inside the glass. I'm not an artist. That kind of looks like Krampus. <laughs> That's funny. All right, uh, okay. So we're gonna do that with Krampus. Now, with this, we go back to the Baileys. And I'm gonna cut this recipe in half. This is a big recipe. It's, it's making for multiple drinks. We're only gonna do the one. So I'm gonna do two ounces of the Baileys. And you can make this, you can multiply the recipe if you want and make it for more people, but this is just me here sitting. So I'm just gonna do it for me. Put that over here for now. Uh, then we use, you could use a Godiva, although you can't find Godiva anywhere right now. So we're using the De Kuiper uh, Creme de Coco. And that is equal parts of that. Help me clean out my jigger. This stuff is amazing, how chocolatey it tastes for a clear liquor. Really good stuff. And so we did the Baileys and then four ounces. And I'm just using a lower end vodka. This is platinum vodka. It's okay. I had a great big thing of Tito's, but I decided not to use it. Uh, I like a lot of different vodkas. Belvedere, uh, Stolichnaya, that's my favorite. So two ounces of that. This is uh, beautiful bourbon and splendid spirits, so we don't always have to stick to just bourbon and rice and whiskeys. All right, we, we can do other things. So vodka, chocolate, liquor, that's the, the uh, uh, de Kuiper, uh, ice, chocolate syrup, and Baileys. That's it. So we put the lid on that. Give it a shake. Give it a strain right there in the glass. I'm going to like this one. I love my chocolate. All right. Yes. Mm. Now, they do make different types of, <coughs> of vodka. They make a... Um, espresso vodka that I bet would be good in there. If you want to turn this into like a mocha chocolate martini, you can use espresso vodka and it would be just as good. I think that'd be really, really tasty. That is fantastic. I really like it. You should smile while you shake. <laughs> You're just getting weird, Jeff. All right. I got one more. And this one is probably the most involved. And I hope it's worth it. This is the chocolate peppermint martini. Um, once again, I had to pre-prepare the glass. So in that chocolate, that uh, melted chocolate, I dipped the rim of the glass in the melted chocolate and then I dipped the chocolate while it was still hot and melty in the peppermint pieces. So I, I, and then I stuck this in the refrigerator for a little while. I set it all up real nice. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping this is going to be fantastic. So, one more time. We're going to do uh, some ice. Thank you, George. I'll post these recipes after I'm done en enjoying what I've made. Come here. All right. 
Thank you, George. Get your head on straight. <laughs> All right, good. All right, so we're going to start off with the uh, creme de keko. <laughs> How are you want to say that? Um, let's see, we need... It says three ounces. I'm not going to use that much. All right, we're going to use an ounce and a half. I'm going to cut this recipe in half, too. It's just me. Start off with that. And then, now you can use peppermint vodka. I'm using peppermint schnapps. So again, we're gonna use an ounce and a half of that. Wanna thank the folks at Flix for this. They helped me get this uh, last year. I needed a smaller bottle because I'm not gonna go through it. This is only the second time I've used it. The first time was last year, this time is now. I just don't go through this stuff. I drink, I drink whiskey most of the time, but this is fun this time of year to do this. Um, all right, so a little bit of half and half. Um, this calls for five ounces, so I am going to do, I guess, two ounces of this. I could probably do two and a half. There's two, and just a little bit more for a half ounce. There we go. Boy, I can smell that. That smells fantastic. Um, now, here's an interesting ingredient. Coca powder. It's going to take about a half a teaspoon of coca powder. Again, I like the dark stuff. So this is the special dark coca powder. There we go. All right. Then, oh, there it is. Tablespoon, or teaspoon rather, of chocolate syrup. So we're gonna go with about a half teaspoon since I'll just do it this way. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. So then we take that. You start shaking it. Now I wanna give this a good shake because there's coca powder in here. ice cubes in there. Oh well. That's okay. I don't know what I would do with my strainer anyway. Oh well. Here we go. So this is the chocolate peppermint martini. Ah, that's fantastic. Yeah. And, and this just stays on the side. It doesn't really come off very easily. Now, if you want to, you can be really cool about it. Take a little bit of this half and half. I didn't really bring anything to do. Yes, I did. And you just be very nice about drizzling some of this on top. And it just stays there. You can draw a little design. I'm gonna make a Christmas tree. Oh, a Christmas tree! Yay! Yeah, just has to take my word for it. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So tonight, we started off with the Gingerbread martini recipe. That's probably my favorite of the night. That's fantastic. And a little extra work goes into that ahead of time because you want to do, make that gingerbread syrup. That syrup is just really, really good. Uh, water, brown sugar, molasses, ground ginger, ground cinnamon, ground allspice. Oh, I, I let my daughter taste it. 
Actually, I asked her to taste it, and she goes, what is it? I said, there's no alcohol in it. Just try it. I don't like trying new things. Yes, she does. She tried it, and she thought it tasted like pumpkin pie. So if you like that pumpkin spice stuff, you'll like it. Excuse me. So the gingerbread martini recipe was the first one. Then we went with the candy cane Christmas cocktail. That's the one that had the cherry juice and 7-Up in it. And that turned out pretty good. I like it. Uh, it would have been better had the, the uh, peppermint stuck to the rim. Had I had another dish out for that, I didn't do it right. Uh, then we did the chocolate martini. Um, that one uh, I really liked as well. This is the one where we drizzled it down the side of the glass and ended up with kind of a Krampus character. Hmm. Yeah, good. And then we finished it up with the, the uh, chocolate peppermint martini. Uh, the one with the stuff on the side of the glass here. Yeah. All good. So, again, this video has got four recipes on it. Last month, or last year rather, uh, we did five. So now you've got nine different recipes that you can carry from today on into the new year uh, for your Christmas parties. Just watch them. I will post the recipes that I did tonight here in just a little bit so you can uh, see them for yourself and make them. Um, in the meantime, I, we'll, we'll be here next Thursday at 7 o'clock for our regularly scheduled Burbcast. Now, at first what I'm thinking I'm going to do is this new one here. This is Whiskey War. I just found this the other day. I just happened to be somewhere, and then there it was. And I said, all right, this is cask strength, so this is going to be a good one to try. If I don't do this, I'll be doing some kind of special thing for New Year's Eve because I don't know specifically that I'll be back on New Year's Eve. So it'll be one of the two. With Christmas being the way it is this weekend, with the weather being horrible, uh, for those of you not in uh, our neck of the woods, we had uh, gusty winds up to 50 miles an hour, 60 in some places. We had power out. It went to negative 30, negative 35 where I am. Uh, wind chill factor, it was negative 3. So with that in mind, it makes it tough for family to travel. Uh, black ice everywhere. We had level 3 snow designations, so you couldn't drive. Um, so if you're elsewhere and you didn't get to take part in that, God bless you for that. Uh, but with us, uh, Christmas is kind of uh, postponed with some of our family. So that's going to make the difference as to what I do next week moving on, whether I'm here for New Year's or whether I'm somewhere else or what's going on. So uh, be patient with the, the information that comes out, and uh, you'll know probably as soon as I do. So you guys, Merry Christmas. May tomorrow morning be magical for you and your family. Stay safe. Uh, stay jolly. Be patient with each other and enjoy some really nice cocktails, courtesy of beautiful bourbon. You guys take care. Have a great what's left of your holiday, and uh, we will see you sometime next week. Take care. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas.